So you'll see that the mode slider, this little button here, is off. So I'm just going to slide it to the left. Oh, you can see the light there. And then, if you turn it over, it beeps green. Now, I have taken this part of the mouse off. I tried to do it on camera, but it doesn't really work because I only have two hands. So, you basically, you just like lift the bottom off like that. Okay, you won't break it. Now, see this thing here? That's the dongle. So, you're going to take that out. And then, all you're going to want to do is plug that into your US oh plug that into your USB port on your computer and that will be pairing now I've already paired mine so it, it'll work and now I can use it so that's how you connect it using the dongle now if we take that dongle out we can actually connect it using Bluetooth now how we're going to do that is switch this to BT on the right. Then um, on our screen here, we're going to go add um, Bluetooth or other devices in our settings. Now this is under settings, devices, Bluetooth and other devices. And you go to Bluetooth. Now. With, but going back to the mouse, you hold down on the DPI button and the two side buttons. One, two, three. And that will hopefully allow us to connect it. And here you go. Under the menu, it says Basilisk S. So we're just going to connect that. It's all good to go. We click Done. It's setting up. And now it works. Um... Also down here, it shows us that we have 94% battery, so that's what you can do if you connect it via Bluetooth. Um, I noticed with Bluetooth, it moves a bit faster. I've got mine at like 3,600 DPI, I think, or probably a bit more than that, 13,000 it might be. But um, it moves a lot faster on Bluetooth, but honestly, it's not that bad, and uh, the using the dongle... Uh, it gives you more battery life. So I tend to use the dongle, but Bluetooth is great too. Uh, you notice when you connect it from Bluetooth, that will beep blue. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe if you liked it. Bye.